lose brave. Capcom's stylish action effort Devil May Cry 5 has sold 2 million copies in 2 weeks, as spotted by VentureBeat. Game director Hideaki Itsuno broke the news during his talk at DD. The Zeni title launched on March 8. A Red One, PlayStation 4, and Windows PC, and is already on track to outpace its predecessor Devil May Cry 4 which only surpassed 3 million sales after 8 years on shelves. The 2019 game developer CEO and theory and CEIS just weeks away. And today organizers are excited to give you a sneak peek at the games you can play during the show in the DD 2000 on 19 day of the devs showcase. Every year this showcase surveys up a copy of GAMES FROM. Some of the industry's most interesting and talented creators and every only attending GD, which runs from March 18th through the 10th of this year, I sent crashed to drop by, play some games and perhaps chat with their creators. It's a great opportunity to catch your breath and check out some cool games amid the hustle and bustle of the conference. Plus, it's often a great place to simulate playable versions of some of the most exciting indie games around, like Aspen and Toy and the SMU Array, Ventor, as well as some unannounced projects. Without further ado, here's a list of some of the games on devs that will take part in Day of the Deaths at DD 2019, an unannounced title Double Fine Productions. Playable long Wednesday Friday, after party from Night School Studio, a Tommy Crops from Bird Bat Games, Cattle from Sunhead, Consume Me from Genesis of Shot, and AP Upson, Emost from Hidden Layer Games, Jenny Laclu Detective from McGrawfy, Playable Lonely Monday Tuesday, Samurai Gun Tour from Boat Life, Sloppy Fortress from Old Warren, Spunky Tour from Moth Mouth Blitworks, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator from Land 4 Games, Void Busters from Blue Mancho, Playable Long Wednesday Friday, Wood and Nickel from Brain Brain, from Die Guild Fabric. All games marked with will be playable for the first time at this showcase, so set aside some time to swing. By one, check them out Do you arrive at GDC 2019 which takes place March 18th through the 10th tour at the newly renovated Moscone Center in San Francisco. Bring your team to GD, register a group of 10 or more and save 10% in conference passes. Learn M-O-R-A-H-E-R-A. For more details on GDC 2000, on 19 visit the show's official website, or subscribe to your regular updates via Facebook, Twitter, us, God Art Sutra and DD are sibling organizations under parent company and former. Valve has put the kibosh on the Steam launch of an adult game that centers around committing violence and sexual assault to women amid a zombie apocalypse. Saying that, after significant fact finding and discussion, the game was ruled bad fit for the PLATF or MDUA to the fact that it Poses unknown costs and risks. The star page for the game in question, a 3D visual novel called Rape Day, popped up on Steam last month, and in more recent days ignited questions about Valve's relaxed approach to deciding what content doesn't does not belong on its platform. For the most part, Valve says it, and then locate anything that is not illegal, or straight up totaling. But notes in today's statement on the matter that the decision to keep the game called Rape Day off of Steam warrants further explanation. Much of our policy around what will distribute is and must be reactionary. We simply have to wait and see what comes to us via Steam Direct. Reads that explanation. We then have to make a judgment call about any risk it puts to Valve, our developer partners. Uh, our customers, after significant fact-finding and discussion, 
We think gravity poses unknown costs and risks, and therefore will not be on Steam. We respect developers' desire to express themselves, and the purpose of Steam is to help developers find an audience. But this developer has chosen content matter and a way of representing it that makes it very difficult for us to help them do that. The level design workshop at this year's game developer CONFERANCEIS chalk a block with great talks and round tables, including a very special presentation from Bunny about how to build levels that appeal to a variety of player types. World design for different player types. Presented by Bunny Design Light Railing Deck, aims toting into practical ways to build worlds that your players will love, while also leveling up your world designers by learning how to focus on what matters most. This is the place to be if you want to only run practical ways to tailor your levels towards player motivation through concrete examples from franchises such as Mass Effect, Dragon Age and Bungie Sound Destiny, you will also learn how to think about what's most important in your game based on your intended audience, so you can spend your limited time building that instead of something your players will not value. To learn more about this great talk and all the other cool sessions available during the Level Design Workshop, make sure to check out the 2019 session scheduler. There you can begin to plan your day 2019, which takes place March 18th through the 22 at the newly renovated Moscone Center in San Francisco. For more details on GDC 2019, visit the show's official website or subscribe to your regular updates via Facebook, Twitter, RSS, Goddard Sutra and DD are sibling organizations. Under parent company Informa, in this making of DD blog post, game developers conference in Katie's term opens up about the process of establishing community spaces at DD and what organizers are doing to help attendees find a comfortable place at the show. One of the things we hear most often with regard to attending DD. How large it is and how that can sometimes make it tough to find your people. I spend a lot of my time thinking about fun and getting activities we can bring on site to help facilitate opportunities for serendipitous networking. Casual forms of connection can mean the difference between wandering the event alone and finding a cohort to enjoy it with. As an initially shy individual myself, Walking into a large room where I know no one can be the most intimidating experience for me. So, I like to find ways to arm myself with points of connection that can enable a conversation that does not have to start from scratch. Enter the desk community spaces. The term community space is to hold what it is a physical space. That can help you find or uh, develop your own community and to it showcases other community groups within the games industry. Let's start with the second category. Game developers are wildly talented and creative. And while DD aims to provide knowledge and tools to further your career, we did be remiss if we did not also celebrate the end product itself. We work with groups in the industry such as in the Mega Booth, Den of the Deaths, Shut Up Sit Down, Mild Rumpus, and Train Jam to cure it. Amazing final products that you can get your hands on and play. They bring together analog games and digital games from all different works of life, backgrounds, and approaches to development. It's also an opportunity to bond over gameplay, which is how to Best friendships often start. I encourage you to check out all of the different community spaces inside. There is something for everyone. Back to the first category. It is both overarching in concept, encapsulating things that fall into the second category. I just spoke about 
but also specific to a couple of new pilot programs launching at DD this year. I am really excited to announce a series of three community lounges on the expo floor dedicated to specific segments of the development, community game audio, writers, narrative designers, and visual artists. Each physical space will be designed specifically for the community. It aims to serve and will house a number of interesting talks, calls, reviews, and various other hands-on activities. These are all aimed at providing a meeting point for folks in this areas to find each other.